Hey everyone, so Larsha here bringing you a new video. This video is going to be my opinions on NHL 21 uh, beta. Um, I've been playing, I probably played about 60, around 50, 60 games of it. So this is just my thoughts and not very like too detailed thoughts, it's just what's on my mind about the game. Um, so I play right wing and I pretty much just, uh, the, the main thing you got to do is just straight line. And, like, I do that a lot in 20, but it's even worse <laughs> in this game. Um, like, the D-men are so slow, no matter, even if you use a puck moving D, it just, your first two two to three steps are just literally feel feel like you're in quick sta quicksand. Um, the off, off puck uh, movement is very, very clunky and slow, like, you, it's hard to, like, turn and stuff. Um, obviously, it's a technical test. It is very early. It's not even the beta, so it it could be changed a lot. I'm just saying what I've noticed. Um, I very enjoy the I enjoy the the chip deke, the the Crosby deke, and the whole Michigan's concept. I don't think it's possible at the moment, but I I'm, I think it's very very cool that they're adding these certain moves to to help like just you know like what actually happens in the real NHL. Um, it's very, very good to avoid hits, and, you know, you can do a chip deke too, which is cool, or you can bounce it off the wall, and uh, the, it, it really opens up the versatility of what you can do and what you can't do. Um, so I, I'm a big uh, advocate of LTing uh, being skill gap. People are saying it's unrealistic, which I can see. I think for the 21, uh, it should be, a like, maybe, like, 10 to 20 percent more effective whenever you click lt now it's pretty much stopping you like i i think uh 20 was very very good with the lt maybe too good um even even after a, a nerf but i think it provides um just like more enjoyable gameplay um a lot of people enjoy it and uh I think it provides a little bit of skill gap because not many people can like perfect it. Um, people think that it's very easy to do. It, it can be, but it is very good to use your body and be able to like turn a little bit smoother. Um, I, I I like it because sometimes when you just like try to like go around in a circle without clicking LT, it takes too long. When you do the regular LT and then you turn with holding LT, it's a lot quicker and more smooth of a turn. You can tr control it better. Um, I also think that uh, that the short passing is kind of off in 21. I felt like when I was behind the net a couple times and I was trying to pass it to a guy really close to me, he would never pick it up. Like it, it, it would just like hit his gate or something. Like it was weird. It wasn't picking up like it would in 20. But also, like, the long-ish passes we're getting through, the, the forces. I mean, I don't really, I'm not really a big, I don't really care about that. I mean, that's fine, I guess. It just, um, just something I noticed. Um, what else? The flexions are pretty good in this game. I like it. Uh, the goalies are very good in butterfly and very bad every <laughs> and everything else, which is interesting. Um... I think the um, small builds are going to be very, very effective in the new game. The 5.7 Dangler and Sniper are pretty much what everyone's using. The the bigger builds, like the Power Forwards, I haven't seen much of them. Um, I think without Marathon Man, it's kind of cool because there's more variety. Variety? I can't speak. More of a variety variety I can't speak fuck all right whatever you know what I mean and um it's not every single time it doesn't have to be marathon man which is cool and um yeah I think the the d deflection trait is gonna be good uh I've been using the quick quick snapper and it's kind of cool where all you have to do is click up and it's a hard shot I've never used a, any of the, these ones before and it's kind of cool to use um, one without like having zero endurance the entire game. I think it's as it, I've had as much endurance as I if I would have had Marathon Man. It's so it's pretty much even. Like if you had Marathon Man in 21, which is cool. Um, 
I like the whole rank system, um, kind of. I mean, in, in a way, if they if they make it a little bit different, like where where it's kind of like you you level up or whatever and try to get the rank uh, elite or whatever, I, they they made it seem like if if you lost and had a good game, um, they wouldn't subtract. But uh, what what I played, every single loss you lose and every win you win, even if you don't play good. So that's interesting. I, I think they should make it a little bit more adjustable. Like, say if I get, like, a four-goal game and or, like, a four-point game and we lose 5-4, I shouldn't be losing uh, RP. Um, that's just my opinion. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all. Um... Uh, I'm just trying to think of anything else that I could... Oh, the team practice um, is pretty cool in the game, like how everyone can play users, um, and you can invite a bunch of people. The server select is cool, um, where you can just pick a server based on uh, if you're home, and, it, and, and it's cool that, that you can do it that way instead of just a random flip of a coin of what you're going to get, even if you're home should be even which is I like how they did that and if you like you get home if you you're a better seed so it's it's more fair that way um um well that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything you want me to talk about the new game in my opinions Leave a comment below, make sure you subscribe and like, and peace.